Oh, the weather outside is frightful because it's a desert here in the Garuda Wastelands and the last thing you want to be doing is wandering around aimlessly looking for loot and treasure and those pesky little Korok seeds. So here we've gathered up a list of all the secrets, all the treasures, all the Korok seeds so you can focus on the important things. What you're going to do with all those Korok seeds. When the game starts, you're going to want to head over to the east right here. And here you'll see these oddly colored cracked rocks, which you can quickly explode with any of the Sheikah Slate Bomb abilities to find your first Korok Seed. Then head a little south from there to find this golden crusted chest, and we got a broadsword out of it, so it's definitely a good stopping point. Then head on over to the west, take out the outpost if you want or need to, but right here, you're going to find another box. Just crack that puppy open and watch out for you. <laughs> and then right beyond it is the real treasure. Actual treasure. We got ourselves an ancient memory part, which early in the game you certainly need. Now head on in, take out the guards. But don't forget to stop and do a little bit of shopping. This shop right here has a chest in it with 300 rupees. So you certainly don't want to miss that. Now, you can go through the cutscene and find out uh, spoilers about Urbosa, and then as Urbosa, you can ignore the fighting and just head on up the stairs like you're going to bed and find this shining little spot with a not-so-shiny little fellow in it. But before you go, make sure you head into the bedroom and open this chest with another broadsword in it. Now, finish off the Yiga Blade Masters before you continue on to open up most of the map and then head up into this little store here where you'll find another metal chest with an ancient memory part or possibly something different for you. Let us know down in the comments if it drops anything different for you. Then head on out to the garbage disposal area where you'll find, very fittingly, somebody who will give you some fecal matter. Then just a little bit to the west of there, you'll find another pinwheel with the exact same thing, just a different face on it. Now head out into the waste and another shining mystical spot with a mystery to be solved. You can fight the Yiga and the Melduga if you want at this point. You will need to fight them before you open up the rest of the map. But then way at the top, there are a couple of treasure boxes hidden away. The first metal chest gave us another sword. Definitely not to be missed. But more importantly, in this tiny little cleft is another rock box containing some rocks. But these ones are sparkly. Then fight the Yiga captain and head down to this place where you'll find this balloon. If you try to shoot it with your arrows or slash at it with a weapon, you'll be sorely disappointed as it'll spin faster and get out of the way. The trick is you gotta use stasis on it and then shoot it with an arrow or slash at it with a sword, whatever you happen to have to hand. As soon as the stasis breaks, you'll get another seed. Now, before you go too far around, there's a hidden chest hidden away in the sand that you can use magnesis on to find yourself a Kurokadakadakadachi sword. Or at least that's what it gave us. Continue fighting the bad guys and head down south to the big area of the map where you started to find this little flower hiding away in the shade of the desert. Just interact with him and he'll give you a little fertilizer. And that's the vast majority of the secrets until you get almost to the end of this map Right here, you'll find another pinwheel with your final Korok seed. Just interact with that pinwheel and you'll be on your way. Now you can stop here to claim your winnings or you can finish the mission to get a few more. I'd suggest finishing the mission. You might as well get the extra XP. So, those are all the secrets, all the hidden chests, all the Korok seeds in the Gerudo Desert. Let us know what the boxes dropped for you if they dropped something different. And if you find any other secrets, let us know down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe so that you're notified when we drop more of these Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity episodes, guides, casual playthroughs, and other great gaming stuff. And as always, we'll play with you again next time.